After four years, Origin seems to have the Wing Commander series of games down to a science. Finally, they appear ready to tinker with the formula a bit, first with Privateer, and now with Wing Commander Armada. That's right, the rumors are true. The latest commander is multiplayer. Flight Sim fanatics have always said that the best opponents are human. Now that I've experienced multiplayer games for myself, I think they're right. Modem games are more popular than ever, and if you have a friend you can dial up and play with, this game is a must-have for your collection. For those people that are craving some new Wing Commander action and don't want to blast their friends, there's a campaign mode, a gauntlet mode, and for those strategy buffs, Origin has included a simple but fun tactical strategy game. You thought the strategy game was fun? What's your favorite color, tweed? Calling the Armada and campaign modes strategy games is like calling the plots of the other WC games interactive movies. The strategy part is painfully simple and not very interesting. It's just a context. It's an excuse for more battles. This is a multiplayer game first and foremost. Fans of the previous Wing Commander games will openly drool when they see the new graphics engine. The ships are beautiful, with the new addition of Garou shading, and close flybys are much less painful to look at. Ships' shields are actually visible as a shimmering blue globe when they get shot. Your ship even gets knocked around when your opponent scores a hit. The graphics are amazing. I barely noticed any pixelation at close distances. Sure is nice to be able to fly right up to a capital ship without having it turn into a big blob. I enjoyed the sound and music quite a bit. It seems that with every new Origin release, they top their last effort with better music and sound effects. Just wait until you hear the music for Wing Commander 3. Easy, boy. You're jumping the gun by six months or so. Try to remember which game we're reviewing here. But you're absolutely right. The sound and music, especially the sound, is improved tenfold over the other WC games. You can even record WAV files through your sound card and turn them into taunts. It just doesn't get any cooler than this. The net play for Wing Armada is intense. In the initial release, two wing jockeys can duke it out at once, and more players will be available in the future. Yeah, in the floppy version, net play is basically the same as modem play. But once the CD version gets out, we'll see those extra players you talked about. Six or eight players in total. There are ten ships to choose from in the multiplayer and gauntlet modes. Five Confederate, and five from the Kilrathi. Yes, you heard that correctly. For the first time in a Wing Commander game, you can fly for the Kilrathi. Hello and there! There are 10 ships to choose from in the Armada and Campaign games, too. You just have to build them. The inclusion of light, medium, and heavy fighters is a great thing to throw in, though, I must admit. All of us who've had to go up against a Kilrathi heavy fighter in some confed tin mosquito can now happily turn the tables and revel in extreme firepower. The gauntlet mode is a fun and simple way to practice your close combat fighting. You just fight and fight, and then you fight some more. It reminds me a lot of Wing Commander Academy. Even though I don't think this game is very strong in the one-player department, I did get a kick out of the gauntlet. It's just one intense battle after another, just what Wing Commander freaks like best. It's also a great way to turn yourself into a merciless deathmonger and make your friend look like a blithering idiot the next time the two of you play head-to-head. -head. You can also play multiplayer gauntlet in either cooperative or competitive mode. A human wingman, what'll they think of next? The campaign mode is a good addition for those striving for a little more structure in gameplay but one of the cooler additions is the strategy mode called Armada. For a strategy game, it's extremely simple. It really only involves manufacturing various items, building a fleet, and conquering planets. But one of the special things about Armada mode is the ability to jump into any battle and actually play it out. The campaign mode is just an expanded version of the Armada game, with more than one sector to explore and an enemy homeworld to conquer at the end. But didn't we talk about the strategy games already? In the dictionary under redundant, it says, uh, see redundant. Hmm. I'd have to say that one of my only gripes with this game is that it's easy to run into another ship, which in a way isn't really a gripe. It's gonna happen no matter what. There's not much they can do to stop it. Don't be so wishy-washy, Charlie Brown. If you're gonna whine, whine. Don't just sit in the corner and whimper. I thought it was too easy to run into people, too. Many of the computer-controlled ships fly like little kids playing chicken on their schwins. Of course, when you and I fly headlong into each other, we only have ourselves to blame. Overall, I found Wing Armada to be just what the doctor ordered. It couldn't have been much better if I had designed it myself. Uh, that's not much of a compliment. I have serious doubts about your programming skills. For my nickel, in multiplayer mode, I think Armada ranks right up there with Doom as a game you simply have to play at least once before you die. I'm glad Origin waited until they had a new engine before they released this, since the enhanced graphics and sound make this terrific game all the more exciting. As a one-player game, though, I don't think it has all that much to offer. The gauntlet is fun enough, but the strategy portion of this package is just a painfully simplified Master of Orion knockoff. If you play modem or net games, you can't live without Armada.
But if you're just a lonely schmo looking for some more Wing Commander action, save your money for Wing 3.